Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis, and with me, as always, is June Lou. How you doing, June? Doing good. So today we are talking about the HR Habano Corona. Uh, cigar is 5-inch by 42 ring gauge. Uh, comes out of the La Corona factory in Nicaragua. Uh, wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano 2000. Uh, binder is from Jalapa, and the filler is Nicaraguan. Uh, this is blended by Hirochi Rubena and Omar Gonzalez Alaman. Uh, price point is nine dollars ninety five cents, and the cigar was released in July of twenty sixteen. So, with all that out of the way, June, what was your pre light experience like? Um, it was very good. Um, I thought the wrapper was really attractive, uh, medium brown wrapper, leaving trace of, of oil on my fingertips. Um, you could also see a bunch of like minor sized tooth uh, all over the wrapper as well. So, always a good sign to see some uh, toothy in the center wrapper. Uh, Vang's wall press seems tight. Uh, cigar provides a even gift with no soft spots. Uh, head finish off with a, a really nicely applied triple cap. Uh, when I smell the wrapper, I got a pungent amount of cedar white pepper. Uh, smelling the enclosed foot, uh, strong white pepper, cedar mixed nuts, uh, cold draw, uh, white pepper on the palate uh, and on the lips, uh, and an airy dry wood coming through. So overall, very good. Yeah, the wrapper was uh, medium brown with some darker marbling on it. Uh, a few raised veins that were visible, but um, you know they seem to add a little bit of character to the cigar. Uh, seams were nearly invisible as they blend in well with the various, various shades of brown. Um, head is finished off with a well-applied quadruple cap. Uh, foot is covered with uh, excess wrapper that's folded over. Um, band is the standard HR band. Um, aroma for the wrapper was a mix of leather and very faint hay. Uh, the foot, uh, you know, although covered, gave it a, you know just a very faint hay with no leather to it. Um, Pre-light draw was snug, uh, kind of with that closed foot, uh, but I did get a very light hay note to it. So in regards to flavor, what was your experience like? Uh, first thirst immediately starts off with the really powerful uh, amount of flavors uh, with really intense white pepper and a spicy cedar. Um, also a good amount of toastiness coming through uh, and, and a rich roasted onionness. Retroling the cigar, uh, overpowering amount of white pepper and spicy cedar. Finish fairly short, uh, with namely a lingering soft dry wood uh, and a hint of spiking, uh, baking spices coming through. Street quickly ramps from uh, medium to medium full, uh, about just like an inch into the cigar uh, and body at a consistent medium. Uh, moving on to the second third, um, the, the profile started kind of settling down. It's not as uh, spiked as it was within the first third. Um, so it, you know, so with that said, it gave a better balanced formula uh, of that same white pepper, uh, less spicy cedar, toast, and roasted nuttiness. Uh, the intensity of the spice, though, uh, you can still get it off the retro. Uh, in addition to that spicy cedar, uh, finished lengthens uh, with the same lingering soft dry wood. Uh, also picks up a uh, relatively spicy cedar as well. Um, strength of body still uh, meaningful medium. Um, within the uh, move on to the final third, uh, it's essentially a replica of that second third. Uh, mouth draws uh, white pepper, less spicy cedar toast, uh, roasted nuttiness, uh, retro, still giving that strong white pepper, spicy cedar uh, finish, uh, medium in length with uh, lingering soft cream wood, but loses out on that uh, spicy cedar that I was getting from the second third. Uh, and st the strength finish out uh, medium full as well as the body at medium. Yeah, initial draws brought a nice mix of creamy leather and cinnamon. Um, as I got uh, kind of beyond that excess wrapper at the foot, um, some wood joined in the profile of uh, creamy leather and cinnamon. Um, half an inch in, uh, cinnamon morphs into a black pepper um, that's kind of supporting uh, a supporting note in the background while the creamy wood and uh, leather was up front. Um, three quarters of an inch in, uh, the leather leaves the profile and the pepper becomes a bit fuller and also has a really long finish to it. Um, Retro is really just a, a solid wood note. Um, as the third came to a close, that pepper faded into the background again while the creamy wood remained up front, um, and strength was just slightly above the medium mark. Uh, in the second third, the cream dialed back um, some while that pepper was very faint, um, the wood, and the wood was prominent up front. Uh, Retro Ale contends with the, you know, just continues on with that wood note. Um, quarter inch in, uh, wood gains a slight char uh, while the cream and the pepper were still sticking around in the background. Um, at an inch in, a little bit of baking spice joined the wood note, uh, and the pepper had left, but the slight cream remained there. Um, as the third key to a close, uh, the char picked up some while that baking spice um, was in the background, um, and the strength was just slightly above medium again. 
uh, getting into the final third, uh, baking spice ramps up again to become even with the charred wood. Uh, quarter inch in, a little bit of bitterness entered, uh, which kind of pushes the baking spice out. Um, and then at an inch in, the uh, bitterness drops back uh, a little bit, leaving the, you know, the baking spice be noticed again. Um, retrohale, um, kind of slightly charred, uh, charred wood note at, this, at that point. Um, and then as the scar came to a close, uh, the charred wood up front, um, some bitterness and baking spice in the background, um, and the strength had bumped up to be uh, at medium full. So performance-wise for burn and draw, what was your experience like? Uh, the burn was great. Uh, only downside is uh, slight firing uh, on the ashes. But other than that, the burn was really cool. Um, almost razor sharp burn line, uh, solid self tap ashes of inch and a half increments, uh, no complaints. Um, and part of the cigar, actually, I was, uh, I was smoking, I was watering some plants. And, uh, dude, the ash just off the first third, it just will not tap off. Like, yeah. Uh, so, really good ash. Anyways, uh, draw, really good. Um, it was uh, very good. Uh, Fairly tight uh, until I cut it to that down to that last cap, but you know, uh, no big deal, no major complaints. Yeah, the uh, burn was just slightly wavy, um, but it never caused any trouble. Um, ashes held on three quarter inch increments for me, so it was you know really very good. Um, in regards to the draw, um, it was slightly snug in the first third and got a little tighter in the second third and kind of as it progressed on. Um, but I don't feel like it caused any issues with the flavor, so it was just kind of a you know a preference type thing. So I rated it good. So overall, what were your thoughts on the cigar? This cigar wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, and, and the reason I say that is because within people that I know that I you know, trust their palates on, um, they've had not this particular Botola, but overall, all I hear are, you know, cigar being on the more like a balanced, nuanced side. Mm -hmm. uh, some folks that like the stronger cigars, uh, they tell me they don't like it because they felt like, you know what was conceived as a nuance and balance for my palate. Uh, they can, you know, they perceive it as uh, being tasteless. So uh, I didn't think it was like that at all. I thought the cigar was quite a bit of a powerhouse. I mean, not like full tilt powerhouse, but like pretty up there. Um, but uh, especially, you know, in the beginning where it was just like really spiked, but thankfully it settled down. Um, you know, so with that said, uh, my palate likes more the nuance and balance. So I want to try out the other uh, siblings of the of this uh, Habano and, and see um, what it's like. Yeah, the cigar had some nice transitions from the beginning, kind of when it started with the uh, you know the abundance of wrapper and then um, got into the regular smoking experience. Um, things fell off a little bit in the final third, um, but for those that like a you know slightly above medium strength level with uh, kind of a wood, pepper, and baking spice profile, um, you know this is definitely a good cigar to check out. Um, construction was pretty good on it, so that's always a you know a plus. Um, I still think this is, that this is the line that shines uh, for HR. Um, I like it the best. I still have some other vitolas. Um, I like this better than the blue and the claro. Um, those are all you know those are very good cigars, but I think this this is the line that really is is the bread and butter for them. Um, so you know I have no problem smoking more of these cigars. I like smoking the other vitolas and things like that, but this is you know a, a pretty good offering. So getting the scores, I give it a 6.47. You gave it a 6.67. So how do you think that matches up with your experience? Uh, matches up well. I mean, the story of this one is average starting profile, uh, transforming into a good profile with good construction. And, you know, that that mid-ish sixes uh, sounds reasonable. Yeah, same thing for me. Um, Flavor-wise, we you know, on par is different. You know, the scores are in different thirds. Um, Draw was just you know slightly lower than for me. Um, otherwise, that's the only the only difference between you and I. So, um, just a slight construction issue. But I, I agree with you. Mid six is a, you know good score for this. Um, you know, I would say probably the Corona isn't um, the one I would go to uh, in the line. Um, but I still think it's a very good offering. Um, it, you know, this is a, probably a, a little more strength in this one than the, some of the larger ring gauge Vitolas. So. But definitely, you know, one to check out. If you like uh, a little bit more strength, this is probably the Vitola uh, in the line to go for. Any other final thoughts from you? Um, I agree with you on this one being by far like that, that the flagship of the HR uh, offering. So um, if you like stronger stuff, go with this one. I mean, if you like, you know, uh, less strong, uh, go with the other Vitolas. Granted, I haven't smoked it, but, you know, uh, many people say, like, especially like the sublime size, is a lot yeah. more nuanced. So. Right, right. 
All right, if you're just catching this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us, but I'll check out the full written review on the website, developingpilots.com. Uh, be sure to follow us on all the social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. Uh, you can also catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and we will catch you on the next one.